isn't that absolutely gorgeous? One of my favorite eagles. The African fish eagle. How majestic is just sitting on that dead tree perch, scanning the water for any sign of fish, which is its main bulk food, if you put it that way. And it's got this really beautiful call, which I can't mimic, actually. Hi, Denise. Yes, they are just so iconic. Such an African bird. Uh, it's part of a higher group of eagles called the sea eagles, which we don't really use in South Africa or in the terms of a term. But it's a group of eagles worldwide that includes species like our African fish eagle, the sea eagle, which is found which are mostly Palearctic regions. And then the very well-known bald eagle found on the North American continent. It's also the national bird of Namibia and Zambia. Interesting. And just, just by mentioning the you know, resemblance to the uh, bald eagle, which is found in the North American continent. Um, they look very similar, though the bald eagle is much bigger. Uh, they are related. They are in the same genus, Aliaetus, or the sea eagles, although its closest relative is the Madagascar fish eagle, which looks very similar. The Madagascar fish eagle's head is a bit more of a tan color and it's a bird that I've not seen yet in my life. Never been to Madagascar. And I think if we can hear that bird call, it will be amazing because that sound is sort of like Hi, Vielo. Yes, it is beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's a really a very striking bird. And I mean, for a lot of people, this is sort of like that cry is, is, is almost like sort of like an epitome of, of, of Africa, you know, sort of like the spirit essence, the soul of Africa in a way. It's just the sound that when you hear it, you know, you know you're in Africa or you long to Africa when you when you're not there. Such a beautiful sound. Right, well, I'm going to set you a little bit with this bird. It's so pretty, but um, let's quickly head over to John T to say hello.